Hello boxing fans, right now I'm talking about Kevin Mitchell versus Ricky Burns and this is for the WBO Lightweight World Championship. Right now we've got Ricky Burns, starting with him, this should be a good fight. He's got 34 wins, none by way of knockout, to two losses, that's a 36 fight record and he is a two weight world champion. His opponent in the opposite corner is Kevin Mitchell. He is 33 wins, 24 by way of knockout, to a single defeat by stoppage. That's a 34 fight record. Going into the advantages, the height and the reach are both slightly with Ricky Burns. He has 2 inches in both height and reach, but look at Mitchell. He looks like he's grown well into this weight since he's moved up from super featherweight. Just keep that in mind when you're looking at the pictures of them. Looking at the power, and I've got to give that to Mitchell. He does have the power in this fight. He knocked out Carl Johansson, who has won a fight, a unanimous decision over Ricky Burns. And he's also knocked out John Murray, who was 31 fights undefeated. And realistically, he has a really good chin. He's only ever been stopped twice now, and that was against, obviously, Kevin Mitchell. And then he got, straight, he got thrown straight into a world title fight with... Um, Brandon Rios and made it look really really good considering I thought really Mitchell you know he also has dropped his last opponent got to look at that realistically when you look at Burns he isn't you know if he isn't out boxing yet then you're okay because he's not going to knock you out either two of his last six were stoppages got to point that out but one was an injury and the Cook fight ugh, that was a farce Cook got in the ring injured Speed, and I'm, it's even, but I'm going to go with Burns slightly. Both guys are former super featherweights. They carried their speed in fights, you know, all throughout the fight. Mitchell throws speed in single shots, while Burns throws these decent combinations, okay? Looking at the boxing ability, and I think this is where the fight's going to be won and lost, really. It's slightly even. Mitchell is a former ABA champion. I think he was a very big amateur career. Not sure if he went to the World Champions Championships, but I think he did. In the pro game, he does have power with his boxing ability. He can fight on the front foot, he can fight on the back foot. He throws good clean punches, and he's more quality than quantity. He can box on the back foot also, and, and, and on the front foot, like I said. And with, this was shown against John Murray. He's a very slick boxer. His movement is great. He used it to get in and out of danger and Burns, when we look at Burns on the other side, other side, he is a very effective boxer. He's very efficient. He does land shots, clean shots, but he also throws a nice large quantity of shots. So something does land. There's also, he's got a great variation of shots. He likes to use different ones, bring in the hooks, the uppercuts, and also the backhand. He likes, he likes it all. The only thing is he hasn't got the power to really hurt his opponent. When I look at the movement, I'm going with Mitchell. He's a very slick mover, former... World Amateur Champion, I think. Um, he can move well and he boxes very effect effectively, allowing him to glide around the ring. It's a new dimension to his game and his defense, which some boxers just do not have. Fat feet are totally underrated in the boxing game. Burns doesn't have as good foot speed, but he can use the ring like he's shown against uh, Martinez. But there were a few times in, the, in there and on the Katsidis fight where Burns had to stand and fight. And he couldn't use his movement to get in and out of trouble. And he had to box and fight instead. Didn't have the power to put either of them away. That's the only thing. That's the only issue. Looking at the chin. And I think Burns, he's got the much better chin. Looking at Mitchell. Obviously you're going to say he got um, stopped by Katsidis. But, you know, he also, Katsidis dropped Juan Manuel Marquez, Casamayor, Robert Guerrero. All these guys he's dropped. Mitchell didn't fancy um, standing and trading with Murray, which ended up being a good decision. He got some good shots landed from middle distance, and he ended up dropping his man. And also, he outboxed Brady Prescott in a very one-sided fight. And he wasn't even too troubled then either. Looking at Burns, on the other hand, let's look at Burns, who has got the good chin, we can suggest. Yeah? He has been dropped before. Martinez, obviously, the first round. Other than that, he hasn't been too hurt. I don't think 
he's faced anyone with such sneaky power as Kevin Mitchell though. That is something that you've got to look at his record and think, yeah, I think I'm right there. So overall, I'm just going to go with this. And I've got to say who I think is going to win. I've not bet on this fight. Don't know if I will bet on it. But I'm going to be very controversial. And I think, providing that Mitchell gets a fair shake on the cards, I think you can win this fight. I think the difference is going to be that Mitchell has the better movement. You know, and he's got the power. Both good boxers. You can't fault them for both being good boxers. They've both fought at high amateur levels where clean punching is favoured. But Burns has been our box before, at domestic level. I think Mitchell, he's got the better power. He's got a check chin, but Burns, you know, his chin's being fine with lower power, guys. But what happens when he steps up against the guy who's got good punching power and has got that sneaky shot that could just drop him, like in the Murray fight? I'm going with Mitchell by split decision, but it could be controversial because the other cousin Burns could win a split decision because he's got the higher punch output. So, providing that this is a fair fight, I'm going with Mitchell by split decision. But I can see also on the split side, on the other end, um, this being controversial and them giving it to Ricky Burns.